Welcome to the Muskegon Channel. It's Andy O'Reilly, and I'm down at Muskegon City Hall today with Mike Franzik. Got that right? Yes. Man, I'm getting good with names. We are down here today to talk about a big event coming up Monday down at the Annis Water Research at Grand Valley State. And it's all got to do with the Muskegon Lakefront and the future of it. You're the, the planner. Correct. Here in Muskegon. Yes. Let's go for a little civics lesson first. All right. That's got to be a pretty big job. Yep. Yeah, we're very busy here. Yeah? yeah. Talk about what it entails to be the city planner. So uh, we have to review all of the developments that uh, come into the city and also plan for them. So we do a lot of the long range planning, um, what we want to see in the city, um, where we want certain uses to be placed and really taking a lot of uh, public input to come to those conclusions. So yeah. we have the uh, Muskegon Master Plan, which kind of calls out all of the requirements and um, the policies that we want to see set forth to help drive development and where we want to see that. Um, so along with that comes zoning yep. and that's where you can place your businesses and, and different types of land uses and also what type of building requirements would uh, be allowed. This can't be an easy job day in day out because you know some people have this idea, some people have that idea and yes. then you got to find the balance in between all this yeah. and, and every parcel is unique so there may be challenges with some requirements for one parcel where it wouldn't be for another so you've always got to be working with people um, and trying them to get them to uh, work with them to get their site plans approved, yeah. whether they can work within the ordinance or sometimes they have to go for a variance or, or special exemptions. A lot of times, um, you know, neighbors will have to be notified so they get a say in certain things that may be locating near them. Crazy busy. Yeah. Yeah. You, so <laughs> it, it, when, it, when, it, when it comes to the municipality government, you've probably got one of the one of the jobs where you get the most balls in the air. You're trying to juggle them all the time. Yeah. It, it's it's not that it's a ball. bad thing. It's <laughs> just one of those really, really busy jobs. Yeah. They keep us on our toes. You know, yeah. we work with a lot of different organizations, businesses, developers, uh, or neighborhood organizations, um, different types of nonprofit organizations. Sure. Um, so we get a chance to talk to basically everybody in the city and see yeah. their different types of viewpoints. But on the other side of the coin too, you probably have a pretty good idea of some of the stuff that's that's going to be pretty amazing. Because, you know, as we've built these pages and grown and watched things happen here in Muskegon, you know, I am of the, the mindset that Muskegon is, is really ready to boom. Yes. I, I get that feeling mm -hmm. from more, av more, you know, more than one, one avenue that there, there's a lot of things that are just about to happen in Muskegon. And, yeah. and it's real this time. It's not smoke and mirrors. It's not a bunch of politicians making promises. Mm -hmm. The rubber's hitting the road pretty quick. Yeah, and you actually got to see a lot of that this summer. There was a, a lot of construction downtown yeah. and still continuing yeah. today and wrapping up a few big projects. And we got a few more coming up on the slate um, yeah. that will probably be announcing pretty soon. So Really? Yeah, it's it's really booming now. Man, arm. I'm going to start twisting it. What do we got? Come on, Can't man. break Spill everything to you. We have See, to that's, a tight he, that's why he's making the big bucks, man. <laughs> got to keep a tight lip with some of these I'd be the one so. spilling the beans all over town. He's the one that, yeah, that's how it works, though. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you're busy, and I know you got a lot going on, but it's an important job you're doing, and, you know, it, it's sometimes probably a pretty thankless job, too. So, let's take a minute here just to say thanks for everything right. you do, and... and it's, <laughs> Thank dude, you. I appreciate it's a tough it. one, man. I, yeah. I know it is. I really do. Yeah. But let's get down to Monday. Coming up on October 30th, there is a, a, a big... Talk about this event down at, at the Grand Valley Water Institute. Yep. So we are going through a plan right now. It's called Imagine Muskegon Lake. Yep. And, uh, you know, with a lot of the stuff going on in town, a big part of that is the lakefront. Yep. And there are a few key properties that are going under big transitions right big now. Big transitions. Yep. We have the Windward Point project, which yep. is the former Sappy site. We have uh, the BC Cobb site, which is going to be transitioning over to um, a private developer. We have the uh, end of Western West Western yep. uh, near the watermark, that whole area. And there's uh, really about 50 acres of undeveloped land there that could be marketed for new development that was former uh, industry. So we're trying to kind of look at some of those big pieces and um, not necessarily exactly what's going to be going on them, but trying to plan for what is and, and the connections that are going to have to be made for people to get to them and for, to connect them to each other and to downtown and the city as a whole. And uh, another part of piece of the plan is also to work with uh, the community and the people that live here yep. and the businesses that live here and how do we connect them to our waterfront. Um, obviously, everyone has a pretty good connection to the beach. But we have the whole Muskegon Lake shoreline where 
we have miles and miles of shoreland and all these great amenities, but there's not always the best place to get to the lake. Yeah. And, and we're trying to focus on where do where does each neighborhood have a connection to the lakes and how do we get better connections to that. Yeah. So this is an all day affair. Yes. And people, is is it one of these things where you're you're taking input? Is it kind of one of those, hey, here's the plan, what do you think? Tell tell me how it works. So we've already done a few meetings. We had uh, some stakeholder meetings with some of the the owners on the lake, some of those properties I talked about, and really got to interview them on a sense of where their projects are going and what we're going to see on their property in the future. Yeah. So that is going to help create the conceptual plan, which we're going to have and be able to share um, on Monday on the 30th. And um, then we're asking the general public to come in, take a look at these plans, and also give their input on what they would like to see on the waterfront and start questioning uh, them on some topics of, of how do you get to the lakefront? How do right. you access the bike trail? Are there impediments um, from where you live? Uh, to there you know we have shoreline drive which limits access to it we also have the railroad that goes basically the whole length of the shoreline those are two big impediments um that we're going to try to work around some solutions for people i think that railroad could come into play is is even an attraction yeah and and it's not necessarily about everyone saying get get rid of it right Uh, we've actually had a lot of ideas of people saying what about some type of trolley system? Yeah, the guy I used to work with. That, yeah. that, I mean, doesn't that doesn't that rail system kind of go all the way around the lake and almost all the way up to, to Montague? Yeah, it? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with all the redevelopment uh, at the Windward Point project, which yeah. will be happening, and to downtown, maybe that's something we could take advantage of where we could have some type of connection that way. Yeah. Starting to feel a little bit more like a tourism town. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So it's an exciting thing, and it's an it's a great thing for people to stop in. Give me the hours that this is going on. So this is going to be from um, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And yep. we're not asking people to go all day. It's just a drop in when you have drop time. Drop in, sure. Um, come in and take a look at the plans and give us your ideas, and uh, you can be on your way when, when you're done. I I think that what we've got here is is just um, remarkable. I mean, there are a few places in the country that have got the access to water like we do. And you look around at places and, and you know, I've always I've I've never really made much uh much a secret of it. I th- I think that a lot of our water area could be used for bigger and better things, bigger regional attractions if you will. I've I've always stumped for a I'd like to see a Navy Pier type attraction. Sure. I'd like to see a um, Pike's Place market mm-hmm. type thing like out in Seattle, something like that. Something to really bring them in because what we've got here is so great, and you know, like and we talked before we came on. You know, I started all this because all we ever get is bad news in Muskegon, and that's not the case. You right. know, we've really got great things here. Yeah, and with the transformation from an industrial town, an industrial waterfront town, yeah. to now that we see we've been able to move a lot of the industry off of the waterfront, yeah. now we have um, those capabilities and that land available for yeah. some of those bigger type projects. Well, we hope we got our fingers crossed, and I know you got your hands full. Right. So. Keep up with us, man. Let All us right. know what's coming, and you know we're at your disposal. If we can help you out, get the word out or anything, and I, you looked a little nervous when we started. You feel better <laughs> no, now? I feel good. You feel yeah, good? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, we want to see everybody out there. We want everybody yeah. to feel good, yeah, right? Everybody feel good. Good. Monday, coming up <laughs> down at the Annis Water Institute at Grand Valley. You can meet Mike. You can find out a little bit more about the developments that are on their way into Muskegon. We'll put the details all right here on the Muskegon Channel. Mike, good to meet you, man. All right, you too. Thanks for coming, man.